Hi everyone, hope you are doing good. Today I am back with another new topic that is clock inverter versus clock buffer. Previously we have discussed about clock buffer versus normal clock. If you haven't watched that video, you can click on this link above. Also I will share this link on the description box. You can also click on the playlist from my channel there you will get all the tutorial videos on STA, synthesis as well as basic CMOS electronic digital electronics tutorial. So there is one commonly asked question during physical design interview that why clock inverters are preferred over clock buffers in the design. So to get that answer we have to go through this tutorial. So without any further delay let's get started. On previous tutorial we have discussed about the rising age, falling age, clock period, pulse width and also about duty, pulse, duty cycle. So we already have seen that this is one clock cycle that is this is one clock period and this is the rising edge that means when it is rising from low to high it is rising edge when it is falling from high to low it is falling edge and each whenever it is rising whenever it is staying at high we call it as high pulse width whenever a, a cycle stays for low it is at low pulse width and if we have high uh, that is the rise time and the fall time if both are equal then only we get 50% duty cycle that much we have learned on the previous video in this video we are going to see how clock inverter is different from clock buffer so as we already know that clock inverters and clock buffers they are having a common feature that is both are having equal or we can say it is having balanced rise and fall time that means if we are having rise time whatever rise time we are having we are getting exact fall time that means the pulse width variation is not happening pulse width violation is not happening okay so if we see this is the inverter clock tree so if we see here if we are giving let's say one here that is 0 to 1 so it is rising and it we should get as 0 as the output so it is falling so the the pulse width is remaining same that means the rise and fall time is equal for buffer also it can be equal but there is a difference clock buffers we know that clock buffers are uh, theoretically we generally say that if there are two identical clock two identical inverters are connected back to back then only it forms a buffer that we say theoretically but practically the situation is little different basically if we see here for buffers like this is equivalent to this so as we say theoretically that buffer means two inverters connected back to back but practically to save the area because if we are having two inverters back to back means like just think this is one buffer but if we theoretically say buffers are equal to two inverters connected back to back that means it is basically consuming more area it is taking more area so that is like not good for a chip because we are nowadays going for lower nodes and then again it will cause a lot of issue that's why to save area the first buffer the, uh, the first inverter the first inverter is typically of a lower drive strength than the second inverter and also they are placed very close to each other that means the uh, net gap is very less so what we know if the net is less means we are basically like the first inverter is dominated by uh, is dominated by the load of the second inverter because the well length is very small that means we are basically neglecting the capacitance automatically resistance is increasing so what will happen if resistance increases means the transition will be more that means the transition will be more means it will take more it will cause more delay that means the smaller drive strength will cause more delay that and if we see this higher drive strength inverter what is happening here the load compromises of the wire cap here as well as the input cap for this next inverter is also getting is also getting compromised here so both are getting compromised here and we are also getting a enough space here enough wire length we are getting here 
compared to in between these two inverters that's why what is happening the capacitance is there is highly capacitive load is there and automatically resistance is becoming half or more than half kind of thing okay so basically resistance is reducing that means the transition is happening faster that means the delay is reducing so but what is happening we have two different drive strength for the first inverter we are getting more transition for the second inverter we are getting less transition that means we are not getting equal rise and fall time if we try to convert buffer with inverters we can't get equal rise and fall time and if we are only using buffers means basically it is uh, like for small cases it is okay but for longer like in clock tree synthesis we need a lot more number of buffers lot more number of inverters in that case if we see buffers are basically consuming more area because it is like practically we see the two inverters connected back to back so it, it is basically tr trying to take more area and when we are trying to balance the area but that is the time we are seeing there are certain transition disturbances that means unbalanced rise and fall time is coming that's why we generally prefer inverters clock inverters over clock buffers so that we can save the area as well as we can maintain equal rise and fall time if we have equal rise and fall time means we won't see pulse width violation and hence we'll also get 50 percent duty cycle that is actually required otherwise the issue will come delay will cause uh, pulse uh, duty cycle will fail it, it won't come between 50 percent it won't be like 50 percent so that's why we generally go for clock inverters for clock tree synthesis and also in other optimization cases also that's all for this video thanks for watching this video do like and subscribe to this channel and don't forget to press the bell icon do comment down below your feedback on this video and also share it with your colleagues and VLSI aspirants and also with your friends. Follow us on WhatsApp and Facebook channel. Link is shared at the description box. See you next time. Till then, stay tuned, stay safe and keep learning.